Hi guys, and welcome to the first installment of Watch It Wednesday, Finish It Friday. So the purpose of this is for me to build up the layers of a card on Wednesday, show you all the little um, extras you can do, and then we're going to finish it on Friday. So Friday's video will be very short as far as putting the card together, but then I'll have extra examples to show you. So it's watch it on Wednesday, and we're going to prep everything, and then we'll finish it on Friday. And I'm going to do it fairly slow, and I will be doing multiples of cutting so that this may allow you to cut your one right alongside me and um, stay up, you know, stay with me. Or it allows you at the very end, we'll show you all the pieces, and then it'll allow you to either do a screenshot of that or freeze it on that and then you can make multiples so when we put them together on Friday you can put be putting the other one card along with me or you can have a whole stack ready to go so then once we complete it you can go ahead and finish it okay so what we're using today and we might have to use some scraps but for the most part we're gonna be making I'm gonna be making uh, two sets of cards you may be only making one. So realize that these I'm using because I'm going to be doing two sets. All right, so I have two 8.5 by 11s and a 4 by 12. So we're going to do a standard base, which is 5.5 by 8.5. Score at 4 and a fourth. Now, some people like scoring first. I'm not going to because I'm going to show you how we use this for all the layers of the card. So we're just cutting that at the five and a half by eight and a half. And now we'll go ahead and score at four and a fourth. So that's just your standard card base. Okay, so hopefully you have your one finished because we're going to move on to the next step. Like I said, I'm going to go slow, but so you should have a card base now ready. Okay, the first layer we're going to do is three and three fourths by three and three fourths. So we're doing a square. I go ahead and I cut this to three and three fourths this way. So I have my long end up there and three and four, three fourths this way. The reason I do that is we're gonna be able to use that scrap for a layer. So again, three and three fourths this way and three and three fourths this way. And you have that scrap. I'm also going to do that on my vanilla because with these two cards, I'm not sure what order I'm going to go in. So here you have three and three fourths by three and three fourths. So again, you, if you're only doing one card, you should be have just one by now. But I have right now three of these because I'm going to show you multiples at the end. So that's your three and three fourths layer. Now you're going to take this and you're going to cut a three and a half by three and a half layer. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going to be layering the uh, Blushing Bride on the Mary Malow and vice versa. Okay, so now we're doing three and a half. Wait, do it on the shorter side. I had to think about that. So here's three and a half by three and a half. So I want to have a thicker piece and a thinner piece. All right. So again, on the shorter side, three and a half by three and a half.
Okay. So now we have those. Now out of your vanilla piece, I'm going to cut three by three squares. And I should be able to get two out of this to match with the two cards that I'm doing. So there are your three by threes. This is also going to be part of your um, focal point. So it could be any color, but I tend to either use the basic white, the very vanilla, or neutral. All right. So now out of your scraps you have here. You're going to do this at, let me make sure I did this right. Oh, I didn't do it right. It's all right. We'll make it work. All right. So for your greeting, since this is three and three fourths left, I'm going to cut at the one and a fourth mark. Did I shoot? Let's see. Three and three fourths. Yes. By. Oh, no. I'm sorry. One and a half. Three and three fourths by one and a half. And I don't have my little piece of paper here to show you. Let me see if I can find out quick. Let me do that really quick. Sorry. Three and three fourths by one and one half. I dropped the paper somewhere. I have no idea where it's at, but, and I don't make these all to scale, just kind of giving you the idea that this is a rectangular strip. All right, so here's your, yeah. it should give you plenty of time to do that. Here's your three and three fourths by one and a half. All right. And then with your leftover vanilla, you should have enough for a three and a half by one and a fourth. Three and a half by one and a fourth. All right. So I did cut that one wrong. So you will have one that's, so you may have to find another scrap for that. So let me go ahead and grab that out and write that one down too. I don't know where I put those guys. Sorry. So this is three and one half by one and one fourth. And that's going to be your sentiment. All right. Yeah, I did cut that wrong because before I was able to use these. So where I said to go on that short side, you really should go on the long side. But you make adjustments and you still could use these if your greeting is a little bit shorter. Okay. So we have very few scraps here. The last step in prepping this is... Those three by threes, we're going to dry emboss. So when you're using the mini stamp cut emboss, remember for your embossing folders, you only use one and three. And of course your embossing folder. So I'm going to take those three by threes. I think I should be able to do them both at once. This is the let's celebrate. This is the one it has all the different happy birthdays on it. So I'm gonna have to go, go all the way to the edge so I can fit both of those on there. So you have your platform one, 
your platform three and you're going to roll it through. All right. Always make sure that that hinge goes in first. You don't ever want to do it the opposite way or it could build up the pressure and crack that. Okay. So this is pretty much everything. If you wanted to go ahead and color these, you could take your blender and I'm going to take the blender right now and show you. Let me go ahead and find my burgundy one. Sorry. More burgundy-ish. Burgundy one. I'm going to get my Mary Merlot. Oh, I have it over here. Sorry. Mary Merlot. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, I like leaving my lid out. To tap it on there. Start off and just come over. See how if you do it really lightly, you're just picking up those words. Kind of like going more straight over it like that because then it seems to capture the words more than going rounded. I got some of that cardstock underneath there. Okay. All right. So guys, this is it for your layers. If you wanted to add some embellishments or go ahead and dry emboss these or do something with these, you could. But I'm going straight with um, just embossing the one layer. So then when we get together on Friday, you should go ahead and have some sort of greeting that you want to go on this one. I think I'm going to be using my go-to greetings and I'm going to be using this happy birthday. All right. Also, for Friday, have any finishing embellishments you might want. Whether it's ribbon, I'm going to be using these basic rhinestone jewels, and I might be using the punch. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me on Watch It Wednesday, and we'll see you on Friday.